Hey guys, I'm back out again with another video testing metal detectors. I'll be using the uh, Equinox uh, 800 versus the XP Deus using the HF or high frequency elliptical coil. And I'll be running the full tones in the, for the XP Deus versus the 50 tones on the Equinox. So we'll see how it goes. I've selected a couple targets, um, a very high conductor, which is going to be this silver half real and then the low conductor will be this gold pendant it's a tiny 14k gold pendant so there uh, you'll see a, a low conductor and high conductor right next to an iron nail an old colonial iron nail anyway we'll see how it goes with the testing xp days hf elliptical coil first i've got it set to full tones the disc is at negative 6.4 disc um, and iron volume with full tones is different than any of the other programs with the XP Deus. I'm starting off with the preset program Deus Fast which is number three I think um, and I run a custom program out of that so I just do full tones the hot program is based off full tones um, Anyway, uh, disc is negative 6.4. If I were to raise the disc to anything above negative 6.4, the iron volume is automatically zero. It will null out anything that has a conductivity at the disc level or below. So if I were to null out or to disc up any anywhere to where the conductivity numbers are with the targets are, which in this case, the gold is very low it's at like a 35 or a 45 or something at 26 kilohertz uh, and the silver is way up there at 90 something so I could disc it that high and you wouldn't hear it anyway so we're not going to worry about that right now we'll keep disc at negative 6.4 and sensitivity at 90 the frequency at 26.6 which when you automate when you go you frequency shift or you, you move your frequency from 14.4 which is the lowest up to the next level it'll automatically go to 31 point whatever which is the max you can go into expert when you do that um, expert on frequency and then bring it down frequency shift down to 26.667 uh, anyway I've got iron volume at zero because it's automatically zero on the full tones anyway Reactivity, I'll bring that up to three. In this case, uh, competing against the Equinox 800 will be uh, at seven recovery speed. So uh, that's pretty equal. Actually, you know what? We'll keep it at 2.5. Uh, that's about equal to the seven on the Equinox, I think. And then out of your response is five. I like it at five versus four or three. Uh, no notching. Ground bounce is at 87, which is what our ground is around here. And you can hear it's it's real quiet. This is in my backyard. It's getting it there. I hear that iron right there. I lose it, but I'm still getting a high number. It's averaging the iron and the target together scratchy that now I'm losing it I don't hear a good target in that in in, in that noise just good right there from right here good 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 bad bad so this target, low conductor, I don't hear it at all right now. Nothing good, I just hear iron. But the edge of the detector, or the, the coil, I hear it, I hear it right there. I'm not getting any reading at this angle. Getting it now. Iron's still affecting that target though, bringing that Number down, 
about where it is now. I'm still getting it. Because that iron is relatively a large target compared to this little target, I think it overpowers this target even when you're in three inches apart. I can still get it right there though. Still getting it. I'm not getting it at all there. So here, getting it. I'm not getting it. Rotator on this way. I'm not getting it at all now. So let's try the Equinox. Alright guys, let's fire this up. Equinox 800. Using the headphones. You should be able to hear it. Even though I've got the headphones on. We're we'll running Park 2 and 50 tone. So right now I've got everything disced out. So it's just like negative 6.4 uh, disc on the XP DAS. So I've got everything disced out, um, all the disc off, I should say. So you hear everything. Um, first thing, noise cancel. Ground balance, 27 is very close to my ground balance. I don't really need to ground balance. Um, volume levels at 25, no threshold. 50 tone. The volume level is at 25 all the way across. So at negative 9, I've got everything sounding off. So I'm going to hear every sound on this. The level of the discrimination I could raise up to up to zero and put the sound the volume level at one so the iron would just sound off at one but this I'm going to try to make this as close to the dais as possible so right now we're going to listen to it listen to the iron and it's at recovery recovery speed seven okay so we get it there that's the silver that's the real half real Get it, get it, get it, get it. Getting it. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Right there, getting it. Losing it. Lost it. Start picking it up again. Getting it. Getting it. I'm losing it there. Getting it. Lost, lost it. Except at the edge I got it. Still getting at the edge. Getting it. Man, I almost get that that high conductor I'm, I get almost all the way around. Pretty much all the way around. I can get it all the way around if I, if I get the coil out this way. That's impressive. It's impressive. I'm losing it right here. The low conductor, the gold. Getting it. Lost it. Get it, pick it up right here, going this way. Getting it. Losing it. Lost it. Lost it. Lost it. Lost it. Lost it. Starting to pick it up again. Starting to pick it up right there. I'm getting the uh, the the equinox is better. 
right in the middle of the the coil. You get at the edge of the coil. Getting it, getting it, getting it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. We'll do one more round with the equal of the XP days. Still getting it almost all the way around. I lose it right here. I lose it right here, which is understandable. That nail. Now to the XP Dais again. Impressive. I can get it the whole way around it too. Actually, I get it all the way around. I never lose it. If I do middle coil or let this coil go over this target. The middle of the target, I start to lose it right there. But I still get it. I'm still getting it right there. Totally getting there. Totally in the middle. So the rotation all the way around with the XP Deus. I'm getting this target the whole time. I still hear the iron, but I, that's a diggable target all the way rotating around. Getting it right there. I can hear a little squeak. That's all you're going to get is a squeak on this target, this gold target, this low conductor. That's like a little squeak of the XP Dais. Squeak. All right, what does it sound like without it? Squeak, 32, 35. Huh. I'm putting the nail, two nails. Getting some squeakage. I'm still hearing a good target in all that iron. It's polluting that target, that sound. But I'm still hearing a diggable target right there. I'm, I'm hearing a diggable target. Definitely. All right, let's get the Equinox. Okay guys, that's what the low conductor gold sounds like with nothing around it. I lose it there. Nope, still get it there. So get it. Go get it. So getting it. The Equinox is, is, is right up there with the XP Dais in performance right now in these settings that I've got selected. Full tones versus uh, the 50 tone program and recovery speed for the Equinox and the reactivity for the XP Dais. They're, they're performance wise uh, on high conductor, low conductor. Uh, in 
a round iron is very, very, very similar, very comparable. I would say pretty much tied. Um, anyway, we'll go over some other types of programs on the XP Deus and settings and other settings on the Equinox in future videos and see how that goes. Anyway, guys, see you soon.